G'day viewers, welcome back to the Spontaneous Collections Recycle Channel. Today I'm scrapping this inkjet printer that I found on the scrap pile. The front cover had already been torn off, so it looks like the scavengers had already been in there, but they failed to find anything of value. But I know there's gold in here, and this is where the gold's located. If you get to these contacts, these ones right here, they're normally gold. There's also a ribbon cable attached to them, which will contain an amount of copper. Once you've got to that, just continue to pull the rest of the cover off. There's quite a few screws in there, so this will take some time. I fast forwarded the video, so I don't have to take up all of your time. My tip is, locate any screw you can and just remove it. It will make it easier in the long run. When scrapping something with a lot of screws in it, I like to use a magnet to collect the screws. That way they're not strewn all over the place or misplaced or fall behind the counter. Now another tip, because we are scrapping, don't have to be very gentle, just pry things apart, pull that cover off. ABS plastic doesn't fetch a great deal these days, but still worth recycling if you've got a scrapyard that'll take it. So we've pulled off the contacts, put them aside, now I'm going for the main board. Now for all the work this printer does, I thought there'd be a whole lot more in there, but that is it. Just that board you can see. But something is better than nothing. Now these low quality boards can get you a dollar or two per kilo. There it is there. There's a couple of EEPROM chips on there. Whether or not you can detach them and sell them, up to you. There is a contact on there, or a connector on there for a parallel cable. That sometimes has gold. Worth looking at. Once the board's out, I now turn my attention to the copper motors. Now this unit has two motors in there. Once I pull out the first one, there it is there, I'll put that aside. Sometimes the cog or the gear on the end is made of brass as well. I tend not to scrap these motors any further, I just put them in my copper motor pile and let the scrap yard deal with it. Any bits of wire get snipped off and put in the copper wire pile. Working on the second motor now. And out it comes. Another stepper motor with copper windings inside. So from here on in, just pull this thing apart, get the raw metals out of it, and that's all there is to it. There are some rollers in there. Uh, if you want to spend the time, you could pull the rubber rollers off the metal bars and get to the core of the metal. Just remember, don't throw or discard the plastic into your waste bin. That would be irresponsible. Well, there you have it. Here's what comes out of an inkjet printer. Besides the plastics, we've got a nice little collection starting from the, what I call the low-grade PCB board. But the main value is in this, the gold contacts. Love them. Then you've got your copper motors that have copper windings in them. Not a great deal of copper cable came out, but still worth putting in the pile. And all the rest is mild steel and a little bit of stainless steel as well. So thanks for watching. See you next time. G'day everyone. Thanks for watching the Spontaneous Collection. Did you know we have a new food channel? Also a gardening and travel channel. But coming soon... But stop the music. Some things have changed. The channel formerly known as The Spontaneous Collection 
has a new name. It's called TSC Recycle. So now we've got the Recycle Channel, Food Channel, Garden Channel, and Travel Channel. So it's one big happy family. Anything you want, you can find on these four channels. But there's also a little bonus channel called Cyber MacGyver. That's got some fun stuff. Go check that out as well. So thanks for watching. I appreciate your subscriptions, comments, shares, and favorites all mean the world to me. So thanks very much. Don't forget, we appreciate it when you click on an ad, spend that extra little time watching an ad because it keeps YouTube going. But I appreciate it either way. Be good, be kind, be careful.